and then I can push some of this down through. And in doing that, then I'm creating a tone that I can then use to take and go over. bend that's actually happening so I'm using the tone that I used to silhouette there coming through I want to feel the wrist uh, go over the corners I try to feel the pull the thumb on the outside and the really big fluffy toes well, here we can give a bit of the sense of the pattern coming through of dark splotchy hmm. uh, I do mostly I I give an indication of the fur and I use it to take and go over the surface without taking and making a great effort at rendering it all the time. But I do want to take and give a sense of the uh, rough coloration here. So we can see that all of this now and I can like in drawing the elephant I used a, a uh, broad, broad tones. So I can take, because uh, the it changes color as we come down through here. So now I'm just sort of blocking in the rough thing and I want at the same time here, I want to go over. So I can drop this, it's not very dark, it's actually quite light. You can see how I'm creating a tone now. Now here I'm using this as a flat, a flat tone. Then I can come back into that and I can add a rendering that takes and shows more of the form. Coming in here thinking of the corner of the pelvis. Hitting, make it a little bit strong. I want to feel the fullness, the side. Uh, there is a slight uh, coloration difference going through uh, centering on the spine and we can feel a sense of the ribs coming around so rather quickly see this has been that we have to spend very little time here in doing this it's, and this is the the key to actually uh, everything if you're systematic about how you approach things, you get an awful lot done. And we go over the surface, feel the pull, I'm pushing the tone back down the side, come through, you can feel the muscles taking, coming down. And I think the corners. So the back leg is light, just behind. Down, I can feel the tendon, your Achilles tendon. Through fullness and pulling down and feel the fullness of the pad, top of the foot, and through. And the same thing would be the other here going over. And I make a point of carrying this out a little bit stronger, emphasizing the line to bring it out. And we can take and push a bit more of the to the structure, anatomy. Coming through. Pull. I want to get the neck fitting in a bit more center 
over through. And this time I'm working with a uh, ivory black uh, Creta color pastel pencil. So now I'm drawing a lot larger. I'm focusing on the head. But again, I, same, same basic procedure. I'm taking a very simple structure, looking through. I'm really thinking about the basic volumes. Make it where the skull, the eyes, back in, uh, cheeks, coming in. Uh, take the overall sense of the face. And they really have they really have a cheek. Now the nose come through. Uh, you cheeks come on the side, ear. Everybody's ear comes out of the same place. Through. Yeah. Now one thing with the Lennox, they have these puffs or tufts of hair coming off the end of their ears and that's the one of the defining characteristics besides the very short, almost non-existent tail. And come through. Lots of fur around the face, but uh, you can you can find domestic cats that have that also. So now, as I start to build, as I'm building this up, I'm taking and going over the surface, and when I'm redrawing the eyes, now I really I really think about the eye socket and we go and come through in the center and round and he's like looking and I'm drawing I'm going over the surface and through now so on the other side you can you can see the eye socket as it comes around and from the pulling down through the nose. Now I'm going to shift over here and I want to get the dark of establishing dark. Again, this, I'm doing this is really still a quick, quick drawing, but I want to take and feel the volumes. And I want to give a bit of the sense of the tonal qualities we have here. So I'm blocking in a large, simple, and I want to leave the lights coming through. So even though I'm talking and trying to work with a bit of the tonal qualities here, as I'm putting these tones down, the thing that I'm thinking about is the basic structure. Well, tones around. Oh, you used to use, for instance, like this, the subtle stripes, you use these as lines that go over the surface of the form. And again, I'm not working too much about the overall textures, but just the, a, I don't avoid it if I can get it in very quick. And I'm gonna feel the dark, the hair through, and adding a little bit of the tough. Uh, actually a bit more than I can see, but it's the character. Okay, so we can feel 
the lightness on the outside, and then we get the really the strong dark. in over and I'm drawing here I'm trying to I'm feeling I'm feeling the skull underneath I'm going the little strokes are going through then I get darker through and very very characteristic the, the dark uh, stripes that take and pull from the eyes. The dark side, the iris, and the dark really then tends to set up the white through pattern through you know as I'm drawing this I'm really thinking of this the cheek so I'm going over over the surface and through feel the tone pushing back through feel the Warmth. And so now we're getting to the point where we're seeing the pattern of the dark a bit more up alongside uh, opening the mouth. White, a very, very characteristic dark spots. Hairs, full light underneath. You feel the pull going over. Now, as we go back into here, I want to take and feel the back of the ear. I use this to silhouette the white hairs foreground, come around, and you can feel the pulling down now, come through, rather loose play, oh, pull, you need to get a little bit of curvature here. Pull from behind and push over the surface. Now, when you come into you come into the neck, we really keep in mind this is a cylinder that you're working around. So as we come through, then we want to take in. We build the hair working around the surface. So I come through. Going around. And I pull off from behind that. Through. It's working around. And as we build up from behind. Adding tone round, and all of this can be dropped into tone, leaving more of the pattern of the white. Now, come through. Feel beneath. You would feel the scapula, but also now 
the just enough here to give an indication of a little bit of the arc. We have the scapula is pushing up in here, and we feel the going into tone away from the light. It's all dropping down. Now, one of the characteristics of Lennox is that they have this pattern. And we can feel it's like a like a cat with freckles. And so we start to see that these become our, our characteristic look of effect. But that gives that gives us a good start of taking and seeing. Let me put on this valve a little bit more. We can take and push this a bit more. But I think that uh, is the basically another approach.